My name is Anthony, and I'll be drawing for you. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, Tweak. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Anthony Draws For You, the channel where no idea is too crazy. Please join me on the fire escape, otherwise known as the discount balcony. So I got a lot of work to do today. Uh, my manager, Susan, found these two people. They're a, uh, they're a married couple, and they operate a reselling business where they basically dumpster dive, and they take all these great finds, and they just refurbish them and resell them. Their request was one of the funniest I think I've gotten yet. So the husband is really into uh, Nikola Tesla and Albert Einstein. So he wants a drawing of the two of them arm wrestling. And they're heavy into like the whole finding Bigfoot thing. So this idea was actually suggested by Susan. What if we have, instead of them looking for Bigfoot, Bigfoot's looking for them. So that one should be pretty funny. What am I looking forward to the most today? For those of you who know me, you know that I'm a music junkie. So whenever I have a new find, I kind of obsess about it for a couple of weeks. And my current fix right now is this guy named uh, Will Wood. His band, it's uh, Will Wood and the Tapeworms. How do I describe this? sound if a cabaret theater caught on fire but the band kept playing that's what they would sound like the energy on that guy is unbelievable so I'm really looking forward to uh, doing a little bit of drawing with him in the background oh my god guys I got to show you something do you want to see the creepiest thing ever okay now before you freak out I'll put your mind at ease and tell you that what you're about to see is fake however if you walk past this thing in the middle of the night you might poop your pants a little bit okay uh, let me do the slow zoom okay tell me when you see it I don't know who put it there, but I have the weirdest neighbors ever. I walked past that thing the other night and my heart jumped into my throat. <laughs> One last look at the view and then let's get to work. I can already tell it's gonna be a beautiful day out. Oh, and before I forget, every once in a while I like to start the day off with a little bit of magnet poetry. Sorry, <laughs> never done that before. As you can see, I've got many choices. Oh, I know. And that's today's. As you can see, I take my magna poetry very seriously. <laughs> this one's my favorite though. Earth or bust? Marvin the Martian. My manager Susan gave this to me the first year that we met. It's been on my refrigerator ever since. There was supposed to be a big kaboom. All right, enough fooling around. It's time to get moving. Morning, trooper. Hey, what did I tell you about wearing that at work? Morning, guys. All right, keys, phone, wallet, umbrella, Sorry, sweetheart, I don't need you. So this is my town. This is my street. This is my sidewalk. This is my fire hydrant. This is my shrubbery. This is my undercover car. Hey, good morning. That was my jogger. <laughs> Thing I love most about my town is that anything that you want is in walking distance. Some of the best bars and restaurants in the whole county. There's always an event going on. There's always something happening in town. They do all sorts of film festivals, they do like concerts in the park and stuff like that. Really just an awesome community. I was actually born in this town. Um, I didn't grow up here, but I moved here about seven or eight years ago. And, uh, I'm, and I'm never leaving. Down by the marina. Hey, if this channel takes off, maybe I can get a boat one day. <laughs> hey, you see this empty slip right here? This channel's gonna do well. That slip is gonna be mine. So I come down here a lot. It's a great place for sketching, actually. Yeah, check back soon. I'm gonna be doing some videos where I'll be sketching down here. I'm just a sketchy guy down by the river. <laughs> All right, I just got my favorite breakfast sandwich from my favorite bagel place, bacon, egg, and cheese on an everything bagel. Now to find a place to park and mind you. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's 8 a.m. Time to send my cousin the daily meme. I don't always send my cousin a meme every day, but when I do, it's on her way to work. All right, this is a place that I want to come back to to do another video. Check this out. Old school arcade. 
Air Hockey, Simpsons, X-Men, Space Invaders, like all the 80s and 90s stuff is here. That place is open till like three in the morning. During the day, you'll get like kids parties and stuff, but on a Friday night, you get nothing but drunk adults. And that place is really cool because they don't charge by the game, they charge by the hour. So instead of continuously pumping quarters into the machine, you just pay your eight or nine bucks or whatever, and you could do whatever you want for like a whole hour. Or if you want to stay there all afternoon, but that's a great place to bring kids or if you're on a date. It's that weird point in the morning where you hear both the nighttime bugs and the daytime bugs at the same time. <laughs> Listen, you hear that? And then the birds chiming in. Like they're the judges who keep the order around here, you know? Hey, I'm back, boys. All right, so I got my fresh air, I got my fresh bagel. Now I'm at my desk and I'm ready to work, I think. I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, homies and homets, let's take it to the paper. I'll admit that this request sort of made me do a double take at first, because when I was asked to put Tesla with Einstein in an arm wrestling match, I was like, wait, I thought his feud was with Edison, no? And the response that I got was basically, no, 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 you heard it correctly, it's Einstein. I thought that the big feud was between Tesla and Edison, but the more I Googled, the more I realized that Tesla had a lot of enemies. From what I do understand, Tesla was like the anti-Einstein. Like, his th the theory of relativity, Tesla outright rejected it. Like, he made he would actually ridicule it and made fun of it. After a little bit of Googling just now, I managed to find a quote from Tesla about Einstein. All right, you ready? Here's what he said. Regarding Einstein's theory of relativity, what is thought in relativity, for example, is not science, but some kind of metaphysics based on abstract mathematical principles and conceptions which will be forever incomprehensible to beings like ourselves whose whole knowledge is derived from a three-dimensional world. So essentially he called it what the old timers called boulder dash. I really couldn't help myself. I had to give Einstein that face. You know that face, it's on that poster. The one that's on the inside of every freshman locker in every movie or TV show for like the past 30 years. And in case you're wondering who that guy in the middle is, he's the husband in the couple that placed this order. So I put him in the middle as the referee. So I spent the time doing pencils, inks, and colors for this thing, but it never actually crossed my mind who would actually win this arm wrestling match. I'm gonna say Tesla for the sheer fact that he towered over Einstein, but I mean, and if we apply the theory of relativity, could it be said that it's an abstract outcome in favor of Albert Einstein? I, I have no idea what that means, what I just said. Uh, I just used super vague words to hopefully make some kind of sense, and I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, I actually hit a couple of bumps in the road towards the end. So you see all that purple electric sparks and all that electricity? That was okay, but we thought that it should include more elements that related to the client. And since they're professional resellers and dumpster divers, I decided to set these guys in the middle of a dumpster. Just put the table that they're at right in the middle. 
Okay, guys, you're not going to believe this, but when I was doing the inks and the colors for the Bigfoot sketch that you're about to see, I accidentally pulled the cord out of the wall. So all of this screen capture footage that I was taking, it's kaput. So sorry to pencil and run on you guys, but you're going to see it go from pencil straight to finished product, unfortunately. Let this be a lesson to all of you out there. Be careful around your plugs. And because the footage of the Bigfoot illustration is so haphazard, I decided that the background music should also reflect that. So I decided to roll the dice. I did the old random music search, and this is what came out. For this one, I actually enjoyed doing the pencils more than the inks and the colors for whatever reason. It was pure luck of the draw, I think. I just happened to be in the zone when I was at the pencil stage. But the moral of this story, kids, is don't be clumsy around your wires, because that's exactly what happened. So if you make a major goof at work, don't beat yourself up too bad, because grown adults do it too. All the time, actually. <laughs> One time I actually, I couldn't find my keys and I was looking all over the place for them. I was looking all over the apartment for them. In really obscure places too. After like two or three minutes of intense searching, they were in my hand. <laughs> Tell me what you're working on right now in the comments section below. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to pound that like button. Be sure to subscribe to keep the party going. Thank you much, and I'll see you next time.